kutana na mchungaji na mwalimu Peter Mitimingi chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam anafundisha haiba ya melancholy choleric na phlegmatic na kuelezea madhaifu ya uwezo wao katika maendeleo ya uchumi wa viwanda Tanzania kwa nini tunakuita wewe sanguine una ili uitwe sanguine au melancholy au choleric you must take 60% of that that temperament lazima uchukue asilimia 60 ya hiyo haiba ya sanguin ndio utakuwa sanguin and then and then kuna aiba inayofuatia hiyo ndio ina dominate ya kwanza lakini ya pili inachukua asilimia kadhaa kwa hiyo kuna melancholy choleric kuna melancholy phlegmatic kuna choleric sanguin hivyo kwa sababu hakuna ambaye ana moja tu peke yake na hana ana moja inatawala zingine zinafuata alafu unaweza ukawa na element unaweza ukawa na element ya, ya phlegmatic au ya sanguin ya nani Taifahamu kweli Na hiyo kweli Itawaweka huru Kutana na mchungaji na mwalimu Dr. Peter Mitemingi chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam akifundisha juu ya umuhimu wa elimu ya saikolojia katika maendeleo ya uchumi wa viwanda Tanzania Mimi pia ni mwalimu au mkufunzi wa taasisi inaitwa Best Life Consultants and Counseling Center ni taasisi inayoshughulika na mambo ya counseling na hapa nimekuja na wanafunzi wangu naomba msimame tuwapungie mkono washiriki wanadili na mambo ya kushauri watu katika nchi mbalimbali Choki kikuu cha Dar es Salaam ni choki kikuu cha kwanza Tanzania kilianza mwaka 1991 ikishirikiana na chuo cha Uingereza na kujisimamia chenyewe mwaka wa 1970 idara ya elimu ya saikolojia na mafunzo mitala ilianzishwa Julai 2009 kutokana na maboresho ya chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam Migala la chakula cha uzima Karibu katika kipindi cha gala la chakula cha uzima kinacholetwa kwako na mchungaji na mwalimu Dr. Peter Miti Mingi. The second personality is called melancholy. Hawa melancholy they are driven by logic not emotions logic they are easy they are not easy to be taken by the winds watu hawa sasa ndo ni opposite ya sanguine sanguine unawapata haraka sana kwa sababu wana wakisimka tu umempata melancholy asisimki kwa haraka hala achukuliwi kwa upepo wa haraka kwa sababu system yake inatumia muda mrefu sana kusisimka kwa hiyo mpaka aje asisimke it has taken long time They think critically before they make decisions. Wana think deep. Wana ujiuliza maswali kwanza. Hivi nikifanya hivi itatokea nini? Nikifanya hivi itatokea nini before I make decisions. They think deep typically, critically before they make a, uh, decisions. Zamani kulikuwa na ile inaitwa des. Wateja wengi wa des walikuwa ni wasanguini kwa sababu desi ilikuwa inasema unaweka laki moja after one month au siku baada gani unapata 300,000 laki tatu so sangwin they don't ask a question they don't want the mathematician why do i give 100 and then i get 300,000 kwa nini ajiulize yeye ni anashau bwana ukiweka tu laki unatoka laki tatu full stop lakini melancholy watajiuliza swali why and how hii hii laki mbili inaipataje pataje inatoka kwa nani mpaka nikitoa milioni moja napata milioni tatu hizi milioni mbili zinatoka wapi nataka hiyo calculation na ukishaanza kufikiria kwa jinsio utaanza kupata majibu na uenda ukajiokoa kwenye vitu kama hivyo ambavyo uenda kama usinge fikiria usingepata melancholic they are very detailed and they operate in details. Kwa hiyo unapodini na melancholy make sure you have details. Kwa sababu melancholy ana operate kwenye kwenye details. Hataki tu maneno ya bra bra. Melancholy they are not good in maintaining relationships 
with people. So, tunapozungumzia uchumi wa viwanda, where do you place people and who do you place where? Mahali panapo usiana na watu. Usimweke melancholy. Kwa sababu abu melancholy they are work oriented people. They are not people oriented people. Wao wanataka kazi na sio watu. Melancholy anataka ajifungie chumbani kwake na kompyuta yake, funga mlango, funga kule, ataki mtu hapo. Na anaweza akainamia kompyuta hapo mpaka mpaka jioni. Mpaka jioni. That's melancholy. Anataka kukaa mahali ambako hakuna watu. Kwa hiyo usimweke sehemu ambazo kuna watu. They are not good. Katika eneo hilo. Na la mwisho katika melancholy they keep grudges. Katika kundi zote haya makundi manne, kundi ambalo linaweka vinyongo moyoni ni melancholy. They have a plastic smile. Melancholy akichea kama maanisha amefurahi. Anaweza kana kuchekea na hapo hapa na mpango wa kumaliza. Anakupa big smile na nyuma yake amekutengenezea 10 minutes kuna mpango nyuma yake. So that's the weakness of melancholy. Then we have choleric. Sasa na wind up. Choleric. They are perfectionist. Wanataka kila kitu kiwe perfect. Kila anachokifanya kiwe perfect na kila anayemfanyia kazi pia iwe kiwe perfect. Kwa hiyo kufanya kazi na mela, na na na, na koleriki, there's a big challenge kwa sababu lazima uinue standard yake ndio aone umefanya kazi katika kiwango. Na kila kitu anataka kiwe perfect. Kama ni kisafisha ataki aone cha mchanga, kama ni nguo anataka kisibaki hata kiuzi, ushone vizuri kama ni kuandika nataka iwe very systematic yani nataka kila kitu kiwe perfect na mara nyingi ni vigumu sana kuwapendeza watu kama hawa kwa sababu uh, people are different N not everybody is perfect they work they are work oriented they value work more than people kwa hiyo kwa, kwa koleriki ukiweka watu na kazi nini bora atakwambia kazi na sio watu Kwa koleriki hata kama ni mfanyabiashara gari yake ikipata ajali haulizi wangapi wamepona. Anauliza usalama wa gari sio usalama wa watu. Kwa sababu kwake cha muhimu ni kazi kuliko kitu kingine. They make good leaders. Most leaders they are choleric. Viongozi wengi ni wanatoka kwenye kundi hili kwa sababu koleriki wana drive za leadership wanazo drives za leadership. Kwa hiyo mahali popote ambako kuna hitaji mfumo mzuri wa uongozi make sure koreliki they are there. Ukiweka kikundi cha viongozi na wote wakawa kina sanguini. The whole team. Wote viongozi kuanzia mwenyekiti sanguini, katibu sanguini, makamu sanguini, mtu za hazina sanguini, you have no leadership. Kwa hiyo make sure in every group in every sector ambayo ita involve leadership make sure ndani ya hicho kikundi kuna mtu anaitwa Koreric ana uwezo mkubwa sana hata kama hana cheo ana uwezo wa kudirect wenye vyeo Koreric ana nguvu ya kushawishi hata ambaye ana cheo kikubwa na akafuata maamuzi ambaye hana cheo madam ana hii drive ya ya, ya Koreric so that is very important they are very good leaders and they can make a good relationship with people only if they know they will benefit something out of it. Kwa hiyo wanafanya mahusiano mazuri na watu wakijua tu kuna kitu watapata. Na mwisho kabisa, aiba ya mwisho inaitwa phlegmatic. Hawa phlegmatic they are they are, they, are, they are called peace people. Ni watu wa amani. They want to make peace with everyone. They want to please with to please everyone. Anataka kumpendeza kila mtu. Lakini shida yao ni hiyo kwamba hawana they are not good in standing for their own case issues. Wao wanaishi zaidi kutegemea mambo ya wengine, kutekeleza mambo ya wengine. In most cases they don't fulfill their vision. Their vision. Kwa hiyo unapokuwa na watu kama hawa 
pia we kama kiongozi unabidi kujua namna ya kuwainua kwa sababu wao kama wao they always they don't know how to initiate things na na kadhalika in most cases they don't achieve their personal goals because they are always trying to help others pursue their goals they are very slow they are very sometimes very slow kwa hiyo unapokuwa na watu kama hawa katika department mbalimbali unapomweka kwenye position fulani lazima ujue aiba yake kwa sababu kuna aiba zingine kama unataka hii kazi iishe ndani ya miezi mitatu team leader wake hawezi kuwa phlegmatic kwa sababu akiwa phlegmatic it will take years not three months kwa lazima ujue kwa phlegmatic they are very slow but also they are very lazy they are not sharp people ni watu wavivu wa yani they only do when they are pushed ukiacha kupush they, they stop everything psikolojia inatusaidia kujua haiba zetu katika maeneo ya kazi katika maeneo ya ajila namna ya kuhusiana na nani namna ya kuhusiana na nani kama mimi ni sanguini nawezaje kumchukulia mtu ambaye ni melankoli na na hizi aiba kila mtu anazo na kitu kingine ambacho tunatakiwa ujue hakuna mtu mwenye aiba moja tu peke yake zote tunasema kwenye psychology kwa nini tunakuita wewe sanguini Una, ili uitwe sanguini au melankoli au koleriki you must take 60% of that that temperament lazima uchukue asilimia sitini ya hiyo haiba ya sanguine ndio utakuwa sanguine and then and then kuna aiba inayofuatia hiyo ndio ina dominate ya kwanza lakini ya pili inachukua asilimia kadhaa kwa hiyo kuna melancholy choleric kuna melancholy phlegmatic kuna choleric sanguine hivyo kwa sababu hakuna ambaye ana moja tu peke yake na hana ana moja inatawala zingine zinafuata alafu unaweza ukawa na element unaweza ukawa na element ya, ya phlegmatic au ya sanguine ya nani lakini element zile hazikufanyi kuwa wewe mwenye hiyo haiba kwa hiyo you must know that na ukijua hiyo itakusaidia kuweza kujua namna ya kuhusiana na watu namna ya kuchukuliana na watu ambao ni kina sanguine wanaongea sana hawana hawana break na wewe ni phlegmatic sio muongeaji namna ya kuchukuliana na kina koleriki ambao ni wakali na wakati mwingine koleriki ukimuuzi lazima akubamize lazima kujua namna ya kuchukuliana na kina na kina melancholy ambao wenyewe hawasisimki kwa haraka unaweza ukashia jambo lako na akaonekana kama hajalifurahia lakini kwamba sio kwamba hajalifurahia it's not it's a matter of time baada ya muda fulani akishaanza ku internalize na baadaye akalikamuingia anaanza kusisimka au kulipokea ile jambo taratibu. Asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza na washukuru sana viongozi kwa kunipa nafasi hii na Mungu awabariki sana. Ni matumaini yangu kuwa umebarikiwa na mafundisho ya neno la Mungu yaliyoletwa kwako na mchungaji na mwalimu Dr. Peter Miti Mingi.